Hey everybody, Hi. I'm Nam. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to teach you how to play Quarto. Quarto is an abstract game. I actually consider it one of the games in my collection that I classify as tic-tac-toe on crack. It's pretty much tic-tac-toe but with crazy twists. So the board looks like this and it's a 4x4 board and you have pieces that you're going to put in these little circles. The first person to get four in a row wins the game. But there's a catch. There's a bunch of different pieces and there's four features among all of them. The pieces are either light colored or dark colored. There's color, that's one. Then they're either tall or short, the height, that's two. And then there's the shape, there's square or circle, or you know, round and squarish. So that's shape, that's three. And then fourth is whether the top is hollow or not. So you can win with any four of these just so long as they're, so for example, if they're all dark colored in a row, you then win the game if you place the piece that lines them up. Now the thing about this is that there's no piece ownership. None of the pieces belong to any specific person. So you can win with dark colored, you can win with light colored. You can win with tall, they don't have to match in color. You can win with short. You can win with if the tops are all hollow or if the tops are all solid, you can win with that as well. This would be a solid and a light colored piece win. And but you could change it and it could look something like that where they're all the same tops. This would be a solid top win. So you can win the game with any of the four features by placing the piece that will win, line up the four features and then you have to call it. Uh, you can just say quarto or I win or you know, something that indicates that you win. Victory is mine. So remember, you can <laughs> win with any of the four features. Height, color, shape, or whether the top is hollow or not. Now, here's the other catch. When it's your turn, you don't get to choose the piece that's remaining in the pool that is yours. Your opponent chooses a piece to give it to you. <laughs> so that's another layer on top of the game that actually makes this really interesting. Crazy. So as I said, there's four features. If you look at all of the pieces on the board, there's actually no two pieces that look alike because every permutation of all four features because each feature can be one or the other. Mm -hmm. So all the pieces are distinctly different. And then when you lay four down in a row of one matching feature, you win. Sounds easy, but it's gonna get crazy. It's a little crazy. So that's the game. Let's play a game and then we can talk about it after. You ready? Yeah, no talk. Victory is mine. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna win. those are fighting words. Yes. Woman. <laughs> Let's play this game. I wanna win. Oh no, you're gonna lose. All right, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. You're going to go second? Okay, I'm going to go first. Okay, I want you to start with this piece. Okay, so she's going to give me this piece to begin with. I will go ahead and place this piece here. Ooh. I will give you the tall, light-colored, square, solid piece. All right, giving me the... Short hollow circle, yeah. I don't really normally say the names of all these pieces. We just grab a piece and just go. To be honest, there's not that much talking. But <laughs> I'll place this here. Concentrating on my winning. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that one. Okay. I'm going to place this one here, and I will give you This one. Interesting. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and place this. Where are you going? What you doing? I'm going to win. But actually, I'm trying to quote, hopefully lure you into a trap. But maybe I shouldn't tell you that. <laughs> However, uh, one good practice that helped my mom get better at this really fast was before making each move Know what pieces are left in the pool. Yeah, and kind of think oh which piece am I going to give the other person? Right after I play this I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over here Snap. And I'm going to give you This one I'm gonna go there. Okay. 
Now, this is not like chess. Not when she lets go, it's my turn. But since she has to give me a piece, we wait until she gives me a piece, and then it's my turn. <laughs> so if she ends I up wanting to change to, to her mind, her. she's still allowed up until she gives me my piece. Then it's too late. Okay. This one. That is the game. No, Nom wins. no, no. Where is it going? Nom wins right here because oh, these are shoot. four in a line for solid tops. Now, uh, it's actually good that this happened in one of the games because I wanted to draw this out. In a situation in which there's two lines where both sides of a single feature can win, mm -hmm. so in this case, solid tops, yeah. in this case, hollow tops, <laughs> every single piece is either solid top or hollow top. So this is a guaranteed win when I see it. Oh, dang. All right, so. Okay. No. So I win with solid tops here. Shoot. All right, excellent. Now for game two. Are you ready for game two? Game on. All right. Would you like to go first or second? All right. You're going to go second I'm just going to do this. I don't know. All right. <laughs> just as a one thing, if you're going to try and think about this logically, the first piece technically doesn't matter at all because by symmetry, it will share the same number of features and not share the same number of features as every other piece that's left. So, there we go. Mm. Go there. <laughs> Why did you know I was gonna go there? Oh, man. Is it because of a strategy that I may employ? Quite possibly. Simplifying things. Mm -hmm. That one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Nam wins. No. With this piece. Four Damn in a row, again. solid. Ugh. If you take a look at the board, there's actually. Ten different ways to win. There's four lines of four this way, four lines of four this way. That's eight. But the two that a lot of people end up losing to switch pieces. <laughs> are the diagonals. Let's pretend. One? Let's pretend Sarah had chosen a different piece for one. me. Sarah's going to give me this one instead. All right. Let's see what where the game would have gone otherwise. No, let's cut that last part out. <laughs> okay. We're gonna cut that last part out. I'm gonna put this piece here. Okay. I'm going to give you this one. Wisely blocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's not many pieces left. There's only five over here. It's tricky, tricky. So each move really counts now because with the number of features that things share, you might want to be careful everywhere you play. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go here. Okay. And I'm gonna give you this one. Victory. Soft no! Models. Oh yeah, actually putting that there is an auto loss for me because everything's either tall or short. Mm-hmm. Yay! So, <laughs> all right. Are you ready for game three? Sure. We can't leave it at 1-1. One, one. Okay. Start it off. Okay. You know I'm going to really want to win this one now, right? Yep. Okay. I got to watch what I... Let's begin. Good luck, have fun. Um...
No, I'm winning. No, 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 no. I don't want you to know that piece. Okay. <laughs> Remember it's... I want you to have... No, no. Damn it. Just take it. Okay. Numb wins with a round. No. Here. Actually, once you place that there, I believe it's an auto win with uh, pretty much all these, right? Because these are all circles. And they would win here. Damn it, I could have won. These are all tall. They would win here. I could have won there. Oh, and you could no. have won there. So you basically gave me the victory oh, in that one. Oh, man. Man, see, this game is crazy. Uh, all right. Good Sorry, job. honey. GG. Post analysis time, guys. All right, post analysis Let's talk time. talk about this game. First things first. I lost. Uh, I don't believe <laughs> that either one of us are playing as optimally as we used to. Yeah, Even no. though I had a bunch of practice. Oh well. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> to be fair, you were also slightly distracted with your phone calls. Yeah. It's okay. They were important. Anyway, what was your strategy going into this? I was trying to play the pieces not opposite of you, but near to a point where I wouldn't get them in the same line. So like if you did that one and you gave me this, I would try to play over here. So there wouldn't okay. be a way so there would to put them together. So there would not be a four-way line. So yeah. That, okay. But the then strategy... I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the strategies that I employ is that early game, when somebody plays something somewhere, or in this case, I had pretty much played first every single game. Mm -hmm. But whatever you piece you gave me, if it matched a bunch of features or like two or three features, I would actually try and line it up. Yeah, I noticed that. And then if it shared literally no features, so like. Let's say the tall, dark, circle, solid, and the short, square, light-colored, hollow top. I would not line them up at all. I basically boiled it down to two strategies, and you may jump in between them throughout a game, but I think yeah. there's really two main strategies. There's block everything. Basically, like in tic-tac-toe, if you see there's something that can win somewhere, if you're not going to think about all the crazy possibilities, just block it. But the other one, I, I personally like this strategy more, and I call it entrapment, even though I don't even know what it's actually called. But it's line up as much crap as possible, <laughs> and then try and give your opponent a piece that doesn't allow them to win. So that eventually, if they don't All catch it... All the pieces it, will be gone, and then I would give you the winning piece. Yes, like... Like she, I did! She would be forced to give me a piece that could win in one of those situations. Oh, Although, in, a, in this case, we both played suboptimally, so it didn't really work out. But I've seen maybe a total of like six or seven draws in this game ever, and then pretty much every other time, there's always a winner. If, assuming they catch it. Like, there's a win on the board, and if they didn't catch it, I, I count that as a, a win as far as that's concerned. Also, when you're doing the entrapment strategy, it does helpful counting. So one of the tips I had mentioned in game one was that look at all the remaining pieces before you actually commit to placing your piece. That way, it'll actually help you out. That would have helped you out in game three. Yeah. Right there. It sometimes also helps. It's like, oh, I know I can't give my opponent a dark square hollow, and if you have to give your opponent a dark because like, light, uh, light colors are lined up or something, then you're only left with this one. And since it's hollow, you can't, so there's nothing you could possibly give them. It also helps to count either odd numbers or even numbers of pieces. So if it's your turn and you place a piece and you go to give your opponent a piece, if there's an even number of pieces, I think that's good for you. No, no, that's bad for you. Bad for you. Because then, let's say it's two, I give you your piece, and then there's one piece left, that'll be mine, and so I'd be forced to block at that point. So odd numbers are better for you, because then you could be like, oh, well, assuming there's no blocking going on, then you just each give each other a piece. I tried. To not win. It also behooves you to check, you know, if there's two in a row, you don't really have to check to see if there's going to be a victory. But if there's three in a row, you should pretty much evaluate every single line that there's three in a row. Yeah. And there's only ten. It's not that many. All right. What do you think of this game? I like this game a lot. There's so much more strategy than to your general tic-tac-toe, just with all the different components that you can create on the board. Right. So, it does get you to think a lot. I actually like this game a lot, mostly because it's not just a tic-tac-toe clone, tic-tac-toe and crack, it's not just that. But there's this added element of interaction. Most games like this, you can only interact with what's on the board and the pieces. They're your own pieces, but I'm giving you the pieces. Yes. And that's what makes it so awesome, so crazy, too. Yeah, in this game, you have that added element of, uh, arguably psychology. I mean, there's there's certain logic involved, but then 
you know, oh, if your opponent doesn't see this, like if you're playing with someone who's less experienced, Me. then <laughs> maybe you could give them something that might let them win if they see it, but if they don't see it, then it's okay. Also, what I like to do in this game is decide which piece I'm going to give them, and then give it to them right away, so that there's no delay, so that I'm not really debating. I've seen some newer players, and it's okay, they can do this. You know, they'll separate the piles and be like, oh, I can't give you this, can't give you that. But then more experienced players will know, oh, hey, they're giving me information yep. about their thought process. Otherwise, I teach this game a lot. It's very easy to teach to people who are drunk because uh, <laughs> it's, it's very simple. Anyway. Good game. GG, honey. Sorry I had to beat you so bad. Yeah. At least I didn't beat you so bad that you wish I didn't beat you so bad. What? <laughs> All right, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye. Have a good night. End gaming section. Segment. Wait. End gaming segment is what I want to say. Boom. Yeah, so there's that added. Aha. Okay, we is rolling. We hate him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't put that in. Trying to catch me riding dirty. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> I know. Okay, we don't need to say that. It's okay. That. No, don't put that in there. Thanks, Annie. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you. Cut. Okay. All right, cut. Don't put that in either. <laughs> oh, that'd be in the bloopers. Cut. That kind of hurt. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Okay, Move but anyway. On. Ready. <laughs> okay, are action. You ready? We can act. I mean, I'm ready for some action. Oh man. I'm a man. Pause. Yeah, you can get that. <laughs> and the first person to... Do you want to say action? I need you over here. I'm not ready. Are you ready? So. And action. Is it recording? Did I hit record? Yes. Okay, it's running. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too much fun with that. Okay. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. We can wait until you Guys. calm down. You're done? I can record okay, you. Now I'm done. I can record you all day. No. You know you're so recordable. It's very nice. It's a very nice wooden board and pretty solid pieces are solid. The one thing to note is when you are playing, there's this chiseled line that just etches like the base, uh, not like the absolute base, but like pretty much on every piece. And it'll tell you which way is up or down, because, for example, this the solid square work. one. Wait, I can't hold it. Yeah. So this, you know that this one is upside down because they don't match It doesn't up, line so you up, have to yeah. turn it over. Right. Ta -da! Or it's very easy to flip the solid uh, one over and, oh, that, that line is too high. So they all line up. That's how you get them to line up. Oh, this game is also a gigantic game. Same people who made Corridor. Which is one of my other videos. Which is a good game too. You should go check that out if you haven't watched it already. My stepdad works in a machining shop and he, apparently if you drill a hole through a piece of material mm -hmm. and it doesn't go all the way through, I think it's called a counterbore. So these are all counterboard pieces. So I guess you could arguably say solid or counterboard. I win with counterboard. I want to counter your bore. Oh. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Honey, which is your favorite piece? I like these ones. Okay, so you like the tall squares? Tall square solid? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or it could be like these ones. Because then they have a hot tub in them. <laughs> <laughs> hot tub, alright. We'll just fill it up with some tea. No. And uh. <laughs> see, at first I was like, ooh, these are lipstick, right? Like, so you just take them off. Like, it just it looks like this is where you would remove it. And, mm. <laughs> Oh no no! You need the one with the with the counterbore in it so that you can put the lipstick in. So you twist it up. Yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, okay. Mm, yes. That worries me. Why? <laughs> I'm not gonna start putting on lipstick. Chapstick though, it's winter, so I need that. You know you're gonna marry me one day, right? Maybe. Oh. By the way, guys, we're engaged. Woo! Hey. <laughs>